Hello and welcome to Arcade Classics. In this installment, the game is Black Hole, released by Konami in 1989. Black Hole was called Quarth in Japan, and the title was released under the Quarth name for the Famicom as well, and also came to the Game Boy. The Game Boy version is the only Western release of the game, um, but Black Hole, the original arcade game, is a pretty neat, cool game, so let's check this out. Let's throw in some virtual quarters and start playing the game. So Black Hole is an action puzzle game where you have to cr sort of um, do a reverse version of Tetris, where these blocks will come down and what you need to do is fill out the squares and basically make squares or rectangles, just basically whole shapes. So you shoot blocks and you can elongate the blocks, sometimes you can put in more blocks than what you need, so it's something you have to carefully time your shots, so I'm going to shoot. See, I, I just shot more shots than I need, so now I need to fill up this inside. Much like in any mother puzzle game, or block puzzle game, if the blocks hit the bottom of the screen, that's game over, so you have to make sure that doesn't happen. The arcade game is two players, of course, so you can play um, with one player on one side of the screen and the second player on, this, on the right side, but let's just um, play with single player for now. Too many blocks. The game has a really simple premise. It's a game that you can pick up and play and understand what you have to do within seconds. And, you know, that's the kind of appeal that arcade games had. And that's why it really works well on the Game Boy, because again, this is a game that you can pick up and play on the Game Boy for, you know, a minute or two and then put it down. I personally have no memories of playing um, Black Hole in the arcades, but I guess it must have come out. Maybe it was just not that popular. So much like Tetris or other puzzle games, um, as you progress the speed gets faster this gray blinking block will delete all the blocks on the screen, so when I shoot these, see what happens. All the blocks go away. Although I have no problem playing this with an arcade joystick, simply using a D-pad is all you need to play this game. Getting tense here. Oh, there we go. Dead. Well, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. If you have any questions about this game, feel free to leave them in the comment section down below. Also, be sure to hit the like button, because hitting the like button helps support my channel and lets me know that you guys want to see more videos like this. So, until next time, guys, take care and thanks for watching.